guys, it's Kayla and Jim, and welcome back to Meteorology Monday. And today we're going to react to the movie Twister. Alright, so I've got my laptop here and I've got some clips from Twister pulled up and we're going to watch them and be reacting to them and giving you our thoughts and opinions on whether this is actually meteorologically accurate or just Hollywood, you know. Yeah, Hollywood taking, you know, some, some creative liberties in the field of meteorology. Okay, so the first clip that we're going to take a look at is earlier on in the movie when Joe still had her truck. And uh, this is where, uh, you know, they're actually riding down the road and then they decide to cut over a little bit and aim towards some sort of bridge area uh, that they try to wedge the truck underneath while the tornado is chasing them. So uh, we're going to take a look at this clip and see how meteorologically accurate this is. Number one, I think it's completely inaccurate that they didn't get hit by any debris with the tornado being like five feet away. And I find it very interesting too that her hair is flying all over the place yet his jacket for the most part is just staying close to his hips. So, alright, jacket has a little bit more weight than the hair but, you know, I don't know, I think there'd be a little bit more movement there. But we'll keep looking at this. So what's the major mistake in this scenario in general? Uh, uh, <laughs> where do I even start? <laughs> so find something to grab a hold of. Um, I like her method over his method. I'm going to cling like a monkey around this gigantic post versus him going, I think I'm going to look like Mr. Atlas and just hold this bridge up against this tornado. <laughs> I like her position better. But the number one rule when it comes to taking shelter against a tornado is, of course, don't hide under an overpass in general. It acts like a wind tunnel and it turns the whole thing like 10 times windier and you have the potential of the bridge falling on top of you. It's just not the greatest place to hide. Although, kudos to them, they are partially hiding in a ditch. So... See, all that debris is just going straight under the bridge with them. I don't know how they didn't get hit by anything. See, that's why you use screws and not nails. <laughs> It's sucking the truck out from underneath the bridge, but not them. And don't forget the uh, the tractor that went by as well. Oh, can't forget the tractor. Let's uh, let's take a minute to also note how that tornado was going sideways, and then all of a sudden just turned around and went straight for them. And how it took 45 minutes for that tornado to bear down on them, and less than five seconds to completely disappear after that. <laughs> yeah. There's something magical about that bridge. Yeah, everybody uh, either find a ditch or find this bridge. <laughs> So here we are to clip number two. This is the one where they are riding down this uh, narrow road in between two water areas and there's twisters on either side. Uh, this time Joe's truck is completely gone out of the movie. <laughs> Sorry, truck. Um, and now his brand new red beautiful truck is now being used as the main chase vehicle. Are they actually in the core? In this point in the movie? Is this the, the core of the storm? The core of what is the question? <laughs> <laughs> if you look at this scene right here, the sky just kind of looks like a rainy day. It doesn't look like there's tornadoes. <laughs> Usually the core is kind of like, you know, where hail. the hail and, and Heavy rain. you know, just before you get outside that and you get to the, the back end of the storm where the, the winds are spinning around and the, the, the core is more, you know, in the core. Definitely would see like dimension in the clouds. I know this is what, 1996 when this came out, mm -hmm. but 
there's no dimension in the clouds whatsoever. It's just kind of. It looks there. like it looks like what happens on some of our bad chase days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we saw a couple of these in the back fields of North Carolina. <laughs> and they just superimposed, uh, you know, computer-generated tornadoes on top of one of our backgrounds. That's what it <laughs> kind of seems like. The anemometer isn't moving. <laughs> There's a huge tornado and it's not moving. What is the flanking line? I don't think I've heard that term before. I haven't. If if we're talking in terms of the rear flanking downdraft kind of thing, but I've never heard the term flanking line. Flanking line. Rear flank downdraft, definitely. That's the that's all of the um, the heavy winds and heavy rain at the back of the storm. Maybe they're flanking maybe line. it's associating with you know like. A downdraft as it bows out, you know, uh, the the rear, like flanking line. Maybe that's what they're trying to grasp at. This lady is extremely calm. <laughs> the midstorm therapy session. <laughs> we got cows. It's also a really small tornado to be picking up something that heavy, like a cow. These are like water spouts at this point. Which are normally like EF zeros, EF ones. And and you see cows. Not only does the cow get away from the first tornado as it crosses the road, it actually gets lifted back up from the other tornado way on the other side, and has enough lift to carry that cow up at that point too. I feel like the truck should be moving at this point if the cows are moving. Makes for entertaining cinema, though. It does. Joe's truck would have definitely been lifted. <laughs> this one. Oh my. Now that looks so much bigger than it did when it was over the water. Okay. <laughs> so. If you ever wanted to know what it was like between the two little spinning things of your blender, uh, of your <laughs> hand mixer, that's what it would look like. This is what the cake batter sees. This is what the cake batter sees. <laughs> we should do a video recreating Twister with a hand mixer. <laughs> we, should, we should so do that. That's Part be two. The... <laughs> it looks exactly like a hand mixer. That's fantastic. Oh, there's three of them now. And they're just effortlessly dancing amongst one another over there. Meanwhile, they're going through all sorts of chaos and stuff in the middle of it. It's a very, very entertaining movie. I love Twister. <laughs> um, you know, it's just one of those things where you gotta, you know, take it with a little bit of salt. But, you know, it's it's all good. It's all good. Um, I, I applaud Hollywood for giving it a good go here and making it entertaining. It does have entertainment value. It so. is entertaining. Okay. Step right on. Ah. Oh my god, it just came out of nowhere! <laughs> Leave Dorothy! <laughs> Run Dorothy over! <laughs> Meanwhile, this like EF5 is like still behind them, isn't it? No, because uh, by now it has significantly evaporated and has become nothing. It's now the rain has come in and the dramatic, dramatic part, of, part of the scene has now taken over. My mistake. <laughs> so wait a second. What happened here was in the span of, it's been 58 seconds. In the span of 58 seconds, she was struggling to grab all the instruments because a tornado might drop on their location. They furiously got into the car and drove backwards. The huge EF5 looking thing fell out of the sky for, what, four and a half seconds? Which Disappeared, think, now it's raining? I think they only drove backwards 50 feet. <laughs> And they came to a stop. The F5 disappeared, now they're both out having an argument. But see, Hollywood's consistent here. And that is, is that they build up the scene, build up the scene, and then, we don't need the tornado anymore, cut! <laughs> tornado disappears, goes back to its trailer, and then these That's guys continue to act. That's you know? a wrap on tornado! So there's a consistency there. And you'll find that throughout the movie. It takes 45 minutes for this tornado to make it 100 feet. And once it gets to their location, five seconds it's gone. So, at least there's consistency. 
you know, for the for the name of the movie being Twister, the tornadoes are actually like not even close to the main characters. I think the movie should have been called Bill and Joe. Bill and Joe. Bill and Joe's Dorothy Adventures. <laughs> All right, guys, so here's clip number four, and this one, not really so much focused on the twister at this point, but more focused on the acrobatics that Bill and Joe do. Whose truck is this? This is Bill's truck. Still Bill's truck. Bill's beautiful red truck um, that I hear most Oklahomans have, so it, there's consistency there. If you're from Oklahoma, let us know if you have a red truck like this. That's right. <laughs> And they're just <laughs> casually looking over their shoulder. Is it still following us? <laughs> they're still doing the speed limit at this point. <laughs> Random farm equipment being dropped. Ah! Cry! Ah! They're dancing! Windshield gets smashed, and then it's not smashed. <laughs> it's not smashed. <laughs> Bill and Joe's demo crew. <laughs> I don't want that wall there. Wait, so the truck can destroy it that much, but the tornado can't? How many chasers have experience going through a house? <laughs> if you have, leave a comment below. <laughs> if you've done one in your red truck, leave two comments below. <laughs> This is the last clip that we found here, and um, this was the big one. This is the one. This is the one. I mean, it's taken two hours, maybe an hour and a half, two hours to get to this point. Uh, big time, at the end. Let's watch this. How are they not hit by debris? So for a tornado to completely demolish a building like that, we're looking at easily an F5 here. That's the, uh, I think that's what the movie portrayed was that was a F5. The whole barn is gone. Yeah. How are they running away from this? <laughs> How can you run in, I don't know, you're that close to it, so, you know, F5 back then was, was what, over 300? Yeah. You know. 300 uh, mile per hour winds, you're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I think F4 was 260 to, to uh, I forget, but I mean, even if it's 200, 200 miles an hour, you're not going to be standing straight running in a, you know, in a direction that close to that kind of a tornado. No. The last scene, they didn't play here, but uh, again, you know, if you watch it, at least they're consistent in that, you know, this big monster comes rolling towards you and, you know, will make your life miserable for about 60 seconds and then all of a sudden it just disappears and you it goes know off it, and this, it's fine it's yeah it's, it's fine life's back to normal and you know let's pick up the pieces um Eat so. some steak and eggs <laughs> yeah steak and eggs um so uh that was the last clip uh i hope you found this quite entertaining <laughs> uh you know props to to hollywood for for doing this back you know many many years ago we're talking like 23 years ago um, CGI back then, you know, was just, you know, getting its uh, feet at that point, yeah. um, you know, what we consider modern day, you know, CGI, and, uh, you know, it, it, it was very entertaining. Yeah. yeah. Was it accurate? I'd say it, uh, on a scale of 10, 0 being not accurate at all, 10 being completely accurate scientifically, I'd say, you know, it's probably a, a 5, It's probably six. about halfway there. Yeah, you know, at, at 10 in terms of you know, most of the content. You know, we happened to pick a few things that we knew weren't uh, meteorologically yeah. accurate just so that we, you know, can comment on those things. But, you know, yeah, you know, definitely, you know, an eight or nine on the entertainment value. I started laughing while I was in the movie theater and my wife looks at me and she goes, do we need to leave? Am I going to hear this the whole movie? What, what's going on here? So there you have it, meteorologists react to the movie Twister. If you want us to react to any other kind of uh, weather videos or, or weather movies, go ahead and put them in the comments below. We love doing these types of videos and, you know, in our spare time we watch these movies and make fun of them. So if we can do them on camera and entertain you guys, <laughs> then definitely uh, comment below some movies that you'd like to see us react to. So if you like this video, like and subscribe it now! <laughs> 
enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. Hitting that subscribe button really helps us out a lot. Our analytics show that most of you who watch our videos aren't subscribed, so if you want to join the Chase fam, definitely hit that button and be notified every single time we post a video. And also down below in the description, you'll also find links to My Tech Thursdays. Which are? On Thursdays. <laughs> It's a mystery! If you want to see, check the link out below! If you really want to take a risk in life, click on the link below. Let's go from zero to twister, where about is it? <laughs> and also in the description below, you'll also find a link to my Tech Thursdays as well. That's where you can find out a lot of the technology-based information that we do in meteorology. Until next time, I'm Kayla. And I'm Jim. Thanks for watching. And beware of flying cows. It's a classic. It's awesome. <laughs>